When working with transparent materials, either glass or even just varnish on a surface, you're going to want to pay attention to something called BRDF. And that's an acronym for Bidirectional Reflectance Distribution Function. It's a bit of a mouthful, but what it refers to is the fall-off curve between reflectivity and transparency on a transparent material. So in the example of this wine glass, in the center of the glass, where the surface is pointing directly at the camera, we're getting a great deal of transparency and not much reflection. Over here on the edge of the glass, where its surface is pointing 90 degrees away from the camera, we're getting a lot more reflectivity and a lot less transparency. So BRDF controls the curve between transparency and reflectivity. Currently on this wine glass, I have the simple glass solid template applied. Scrolling down a little bit, and you'll notice the index of refraction is set to the default of 1.5. Scrolling down a little bit farther, we've got the BRDF rollout. And within here, you have two options. You can either let 3ds Max and Mental Ray handle your BRDF curve, or you can design your own custom curve. So if you just want it to be calculated for you, you can use the by IOR option. And then the BRDF curve will be controlled by the index of refraction. So you'll see here with an IOR of 1.5, we're getting solid glass. If I increase the IOR to something like 2.4, which is diamond, we're going to get a lot more reflectivity. If I reduce the IOR to like 1.3 for water, we'll get a lot more transparency. Okay, so we can just set this to whatever our material is. So let's try it at 2.4 and render the glass and see what that does. So this is not physically accurate because, of course, we can't model, we can't create a glass out of pure diamond. But it does give us more reflectivity, and it makes our image pop a little bit more. The downside of it, though, is that we're getting too much refraction because this IOR parameter is controlling both the bending of light and the BRDF curve. Okay, so what we really probably want to do, if we want to make our images pop a little bit more and get more reflectivity, we probably want to have the IOR set to be physically accurate and then adjust the BRDF curve manually. So let's try that. So when I choose custom reflectivity function, then I have three parameters to play with. The zero degree reflection is how much reflection we're going to have in the center or where the surface is pointed directly at the camera, zero degrees to the line of sight of the camera. So as I reduce this, we'll see less and less reflectivity in the center. The second parameter is the reflectivity at 90 degrees, which is on the edges, or where the surface is pointed away from the camera. And then the curve shape here is, as the name indicates, the shape of the curve. And it's set to 5 by default, which is actually kind of high. Let's see what this looks like if I set this to 1. And I'll reduce the 0 degree reflection down to nothing, and render the glass and see what this gives us. So this is a pretty clear demonstration of how BRDF works. You wouldn't really see this sort of phenomenon in nature, but this is just a good indicator in terms of the lesson. So you'll see here in the center, it's completely transparent. And at the edge, it's completely reflective. So you would never really do something like that. You would play with this until you got something that looked good. And my recommendation with this curve shape is that default value of 5 is really way too high. And I would tend to bring that down probably around 2 or 3. But this is definitely a process where you would just experiment to get the look that you want. So that's too reflective, I would say, throughout. So I'll bring my zero degree reflectivity down. And just do iterative renders until we get the look that we want. So now this is better than setting the IOR really high because the light is not bending excessively as it travels through the glass. But yet we're getting stronger reflections and we're getting a prettier image. Of course, again, this is not physically accurate, but it looks good. So that's how you control BRDF in Arch and Design.